to my YouTube channel guys if you are new here hi hello you're welcome but if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to my channel I haven't been able to post videos for a while now like my courses after my life seriously but today I said oh I have to upload a video so I decided to create this video today this video is going to basically basically going to be about my korean journey like i started um studying korean for like three weeks ago i'm not perfect yet like i'm not fluent but i want to share my progress so that when it finally gets to a time i'm so so perfect in the korean language I can trace back to when I started learning Korean. So that's the reason for this video. So without wasting any much time, let's get straight into the video. I remember what ginger me to start taking a course in Korean was it's like I saw a girl on YouTube, like she was so so fluent in the Korean language and she spoke about her journey when she started. And I am someone that loves to watch Korean movies. So I'm like, if I'm someone that loves to watch Korean movies, why not take this as an opportunity to study their language? So that when I am even watching a movie where there's no subtitle, I will still understand what is being shown. So like I said before, three weeks ago, I downloaded an app where like there are a lot of like like thousand and let me say thousand and one languages on the app so you choose the language you prefer to study there's arabic there's japanese there's spanish there's chinese there's a swahili there, there are a lot of languages there so i decided to take like the korean course so when i first saw the korean alphabet like is it hango i think it's called hango or something i don't i don't really know how it's pronounced when i saw the alphabet i was like damn can i study this language because the alphabets are like kind of like complicated so different from the english alphabet so i just gave myself some motivation i said oh let me just learn this alphabet maybe i can do it if i learn this alphabet let me just learn this alphabet if i learn this alphabet and i feel like i can do it then i will just stop but if i feel like i can then i continue so i started learning the alphabet like a b c a the letter a in korean s a b s ba m s ma n s na are y'all ready for this <laughs> Like you are trying to pronounce a bit like it sounds that way it so some of the things i realized was that an a cannot stand on its own unless you add like a small o so it like the and the o is on on so when you add it to the a like it won't change the meaning that on closer to the a is just gonna be silent you're just going to pronounce only the a and when I started, I thought like when I mastered the Korean alphabet, it would be easier for me to pronounce words in Korean, but I was wrong. I thought like if I know this is A, and I know this is N, and I know this is T, and I bring it together as ant. So if I put the Korean A, the Korean B, and the Korean T together, I get the word. But it was so, it's so, so different. Knowing the alphabet does not automatically guarantee you knowing all the words in the Korean language. For example, and okay, let me share with you some of the words I learned so far. I learned a baby is called Aki. So, Aki. So, if you are going to bring the alphabets we learned in Korea to spell like the Aki, you aren't going to get it as baby. So, oi as oi as kumkumba, um, ipgo is entrance, haksen as student, hagmon is newspaper, 
Um, e is this or there? Oh, it's on. Message, message, message is message. Apartment is apartment. Um, so o o is like above or on. A i a i a i child. Yeah, it's yes. I'm not teaching the Korean language. I'm not because I'm not fluent. I'm just sharing my progress so far. K is off. K is like off. Ma se. Ma se is like taste or flavor. Ma se. Gami is and. We is on. We is on. Norway. Norway is song. So let me try from a sentence now. Like something like the baby's mouth. It's going to be like. Agie o yo. Agie o yo. Agie ye is an apostrophe. Like as the. So agie o yo. The baby's milk. Oh agie o yo. Oh the baby's milk. Oh agie o yo. Oh, the baby smell and donut is like donut like it's basically sounds like English donut like I might actually not be pronouncing the words frequently like a Korean will do so since I'm Elena I'm Elena I'm Elena let me say something like the students newspaper is going to be like e and Hamon the students Newspaper. E Haxian Hamun. There's one thing I noticed about the Korean alphabets. Like I can't like all the English alphabets are not like in Korean. Like I couldn't even find V in the Korean alphabet. I didn't find X in the Korean alphabet. And what else? I'm just taking the lesson slowly. So now I'm just like learning the alphabet and the words. When I finally go to the sentence, maybe I might share my progress, maybe I might not. I hope you like this video and please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if I drop a new video, you'll be the first to know.